Yeah. You, when you were in school, like, were you, do you always had an interest in more of the science fields or the STEAM fields or the STEM fields where, you know, science and technology, engineering and math, um, were those something that you always kind of uh, gravitated towards or had an interest in? And, and if so, how, how did you cultivate that? How did you keep it going and, and make it grow so that you felt confident enough that, yes, I want to go into physics, um, you know, as a career choice? So I would say that my interest in technology was not, so in the, the T part of STEAM, it was definitely not present until consulting. I, I was not one of those girls that grew up and I was like, I can't wait to get home and play video games. No, it wasn't me. Um, I liked arts and I liked science more from a, a more from a theoretical point of view, like just totally curious, just it came out of a, a feeling of curiosity and just understanding what's around me. So well, I remember just knowing, you know, what is light, you know, why, like, wh where am I standing? Mm -hmm. Like, where, <laughs> what, it just that was what, uh, what I, I have had since, uh, since I was little. And, um, and I, cult I cultivated art and through classes and I, I played piano and I sang and I love doing, creating things. So that creativity part of it, it has been there always. And I was lucky enough to go to a school, you know, all schools have pros and cons, right? Like one thing that could be seen as either a pro or a con of my Colombian school is they forced every child to learn every science. So there was no such thing as like, I'm not good in science. You weren't allowed to be that. <laughs> Everybody had to do. And that of course is stifling in some way, but in others, it forced me to see the different sciences. And I liked it. I liked it. I, I liked understanding and theory. And so when I went into college, when I got in, I, I chose MIT without knowing what I was going to study. But I chose it because of that feeling of creativity that I felt on campus. The same thing that you notice when you went to the lab. And I decided to study physics because I thought I probably won't be again in my life in another place where I could so I could learn so well um, about the world that I live in, like from a scientific perspective. So this is it. Like this is the chance. And so I. That's why I did it. Uh, and it certainly. I think I had developed, cultivated the art part independently more in school. And when I was there, science just exploded. Mm -hmm. Because like my school at MIT, they you were required to take chemistry, biology, math, physics. And it, I just loved it. Mm -hmm. um, and then the, the, so all the components of STEAM were there except the T that came. I came to enjoy that afterwards. And it was because of the link with technology and creativity. Do you remember some... Um, moments where you saw how science and the arts connected together um, and it kind of awakened that that yeah science is everywhere and it has this great creativity that comes along with it um, do you remember some 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 moments or or experiences well, you had a very personal thing but for 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 me understanding something triggers awe like just awe and admiration, like beauty. And that is a very closely related feeling to excitement and, and desire to create, right? Like it's um, it, that I wasn't surprised, for example, at MIT, the most common double major is, is science and music. Mm. And, and also like it's a, um, like, for example, I see art as like you, you're looking for, you're playing with balance. Right, you're playing with the balance and the composition of different objects, um, be it physical art or or, like, or or you know painting or sculpture or music. You know, you're you're building a composition, and there is a reason why like some notes are perceived to harmonize and not. Right, science lets us understand that. Um, there is a a. a there are patterns that we can define as to why things look aesthetically pleasing. The golden rule is a ratio. 
a math ratio. And so it's, it, uh, that's, uh, yes, like it's, it's cl closely linked to, to, to math. So it helps us, uh, I guess, science helps us more precisely define the things that we find beautiful. 